reflecting on the object as liable to destruction and fall is called knowledge of insight. 642 How has the meaning of a question showing desire to expound? 13 Next, in order to show how that comes about, consciousness with materiality as its object, etc., is said. Herein, consciousness with materiality as its object arises and dissolves. Ruparamo I Sitai Upahjitpapajetai is the equivalent of Ruparamo I Sitai Upahjitpapajetai, or the meaning is Ruparamo Abhav Sitai Upahjitpapajetai alternative grammatical. Substitution Having reflected on that object, having reflected on, having known, that object consisting of materiality, the meaning is, having seen it is liable to destruction and fall. He contemplates the dissolution of that consciousness. By means of a subsequent consciousness he contemplates the dissolution of that consciousness with which that object consisting of materiality was seen as liable to destruction and fall. Hence the ancients said, he sees with insight both the known and the knowledge. 14 He contemplates, Anupasati he sees always accordingly, Anu Anupasati, the meaning is, he sees again and again in various modes. Hence it is said, he contemplates, how does he contemplate? He contemplates as impermanent, and so on. 15 Herein, dissolution is the culminating point of impermanence, and so the meditator contemplating dissolution contemplates the whole field of formations as impermanent, not as permanent. Point 8 Then, because of the painfulness of what is impermanent and because of the non existence of self in what is painful, he contemplates that same whole field of formations as painful, not as pleasant, he contemplates it as not self, not as self. 16 But what is impermanent, painful, not self, is not something to delight in, and what is not something to delight in is not something to arouse greed for, consequently, when that field of formations is seen as impermanent, painful, not self, in accordance with the contemplation of dissolution, then he becomes dispassionate. He does not delight, he causes fading away of greed, he does not inflame it. When he does not inflame greed thus, he causes cessation of greed, not its origination, which happens firstly by means of mundane knowledge. 9 The meaning is, he does not cause origination. 17 Or alternatively, having thus caused the fading away of greed, and caused the cessation of the seen field of formations, he causes the cessation of the unseen too by means of inferential knowledge, he does not originate it. He gives attention only to its cessation, he sees only its cessation, not its origin, is the meaning. 18 Progressing in this way, he relinquishes, he does not grasp. What is meant? What is meant is that this contemplation of impermanence, etc., is also called both relinquishment as giving up and relinquishment as entering into, see Paisi 194, because, by substitution of opposite qualities, it gives up defilements along with aggregate producing kama formations, and because, by seeing the unsatisfactoriness of what is formed. 643 It also enters into, by inclining towards Nibbana, which is the opposite of the formed. Therefore the Pikha who possesses that contemplation gives up defilements and enters into Nibbana in the way stated, he does not grasp, cling to, defilements by causing rebirth, nor does he grasp, cling to, a formed object through failing to see its unsatisfactoriness. Hence it was said, he relinquishes, he does not grasp. 19 Now, in order to show which states are abandoned by these three kinds of knowledge, contemplating as impermanent, he abandons the perception of permanence, etc., is said. Herein, delight is craving accompanied by happiness. The rest is as already stated. 20 As to the stanzas, the substitution of the object means that after seeing the dissolution of materiality, there is the substitution of another object for that first object by seeing the dissolution of the consciousness by which the dissolution of materiality was seen. Transference of understanding is the abandoning of rise and the specializing in fall. The power of adverting is the ability, after seeing the dissolution of materiality, to advert immediately for the purpose of seeing the dissolution of the consciousness that had that dissolution as its object. 
Our insight following reflection, this is called contemplation of dissolution after reflecting on an object. 21 Defining both to be alike by inference from that same object, the meaning is that by inference, by induction, from the object seen by actual experience he defines both the seen and the unseen to have a single individual essence thus, the field of formations dissolved in the past, and will break up in the future, just as it does in the present dot. And this is said by the ancients. With vision of those present purified. He infers those past and future to be alike, he infers that all formations disappear. Like dewdrops when the morning sun comes up. 22 Intentness on cessation, after thus giving to both a single definition based on their dissolution, he thus becomes intent on cessation, in other words, on that same dissolution. The meaning is that he attaches importance to it, inclines, tends, leans towards it. Our insight in the mark of fall, what is meant is that this is called insight into the characteristic of fall. 23 Having reflected on the object, having first known the object consisting of materiality, and so on. Dissolution he contemplates, having seen the dissolution of that object, he contemplates the dissolution of the consciousness that had that as its object. 644 24 Appearance then as empty, while he is contemplating dissolution in this way, he succeeds in making formations appear as void thus, only formations break up, their break up is death, there is nothing else at all 10. Hence the ancients said. Aggregates cease and nothing else exists, break up of aggregates is known as death. He watches their destruction steadfastly. As one who with a diamond drills a gem. 11. 25 is insight of higher understanding, what is meant is that the reflection on the object, the contemplation of dissolution, and the appearance as void are called insight of higher understanding. 26 Skilled in the three contemplations, a bhikkhu who is competent in the three beginning with contemplation of impermanence. And in the fourfold insight too, in the four kinds of insight beginning with dispassion. Skilled in the three appearances, and owing to skill in this threefold appearance, namely, as liable to destruction and fall, as terror, and as void. Point 12 The various views will shake him not he does not vacillate on. Account of the various kinds of views such as the eternity view. 27 When he no longer vacillates and so constantly bears in mind that the unceased will also cease, the undissolved will also dissolve, then he disregards the arising, presence, occurrence and sign of all formations, which keep on breaking up, like fragile pottery being smashed, like fine dust being dispersed, like sesame seeds being roasted and he sees only their breakup. Just as a man with eyes standing on the bank of a pond or on the bank of a river during heavy rain would see large bubbles appearing on the surface of the water and breaking up as soon as they appeared, so too he sees how formations break up all the time. The blessed one said of such a meditator, and he who looks upon the world as one who looks upon a bubble, as one who looks upon a mirage, is out of sight of death the king. DHP 170. 28 When he constantly sees that all formations thus break up all the time, then contemplation of dissolution grows strong in him. Bringing eight advantages, which are these, abandoning a false view of becoming, giving up attachment to life, constant application, a purified livelihood, no more anxiety, absence of fear, acquisition of patience and gentleness, and conquest of aversion, boredom, and sensual delight. 645 Hence the ancients said. On seeing these eight perfect qualities he comprehends formations constantly, seeing break up in order to attain. The deathless, like the sage with burning turban. CSV 440 Knowledge of contemplation of dissolution is ended. 3 Knowledge of appearance as terror. 29 As he repeats, develops, and cultivates in this way the contemplation of dissolution, the object of which is cessation consisting in the destruction, fall, and break up of all formations, then formations classed according to all kinds of becoming, generation, destiny, station, or abode of beings, appear to him in the form of a great terror, as lions, 
tigers, leopards, bears, hyenas, spirits, ogres, fierce bulls, savage dogs, rut-maddened wild elephants, hideous venomous serpents, thunderbolts, charnel grounds, battlefields, flaming coal pits, etc., appear to a timid man who wants to live in peace. When he sees how past formations have ceased, present ones are ceasing, and those to be generated in the future will cease in just the same way, then what is called knowledge of appearance as terror arises in him at that stage. 30 Here is a simile, a woman's three sons had offended against the king, it seems. The king ordered their heads to be cut off. She went with her sons to the place of their execution. When they had cut off the eldest one's head, they set about cutting off the middle one's head. Seeing the eldest one's head already cut off and the middle one's head being cut off, she gave up hope for the youngest, thinking, he too will fare like them. Now, the meditator seeing the cessation of past formations is like the woman seeing the eldest son's head cut off. His Path of Purification Part 3, Understanding, Panna Seeing the cessation of those present is like her seeing the middle one's head being cut off. His seeing the cessation of those in the future, thinking, formations to be generated in the future will cease too, is like her giving up hope for the youngest son, thinking, he too will fare like them. When he sees in this way, knowledge of appearance as terror arises in him at that stage. 31 Also another simile, a woman with an infected womb had, it seems, given birth to ten children. 646 of these, nine had already died and one was dying in her hands. There was another in her womb. Seeing that nine were dead and the tenth was dying, she gave up hope about the one in her womb, thinking, it too will fare just like them. Herein, the meditator seeing the cessation of past formations is like the woman's remembering the death of the nine children. The meditator seeing the cessation of those present is like her seeing the moribund state of the one in.